state bid to highlight the giant strides of its administration, Nigeria's federal government has been providing the scorecard of its various ministries from 2015 to 2023. And on this occasion, the train stopped at the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Nii Adebayo, said the ministry put up tremendous efforts to ensure Nigeria successfully emerged from the COVID-19 pandemic that ravaged the world. He noted that the federal government, through its ministry, created helpful corridors that facilitated movement of palliatives, medicines and equipment. We established an emergency operations center to not only facilitate the flow of industrial and trade activities, as well as to secure jobs, but also specifically to guarantee the sustained supply of essential commodities. Our intervention resulted in saving over 20,000 jobs and ensured that items such as ventilators, personal protective equipment, and other key products were delivered where needed. Adebayo also said the ministry championed the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises MSME Survivor Fund initiative. He stressed that Nigeria's response to the COVID-19 pandemic was creating an economic sustainability plan positioned to help MSMEs offset their bills. Nigeria's response to the COVID-19 pandemic involved the development of the National Economic Sustainability Plan. A key component of this plan was the MSME Survival Fund, which was established to provide support to vulnerable MSMEs, specifically in terms of meeting their payroll obligations and therefore enabling them to safeguard existing jobs and create new jobs in the face of the challenge. Chaired by the Honorable Minister of State, this initiative provided support for saving about half a million jobs, grants to over 80,000 businesses, support for almost 400,000 artisans and transporters, and free registration of businesses for 250,000 companies with the Corporate Affairs Commission. The minister also mentioned that during the period under review, Nigeria's automotive sector attracted investment in the region of $1 billion, while saying the government has established solar power charging stations in Lagos, Sokoto, and Unsuka. Our policies and interventions have yielded remarkable success. In the automotive sector, we have attracted investments of about $1 billion and created capacity to produce 400,000 units of vehicles. With an eye on the future, we have also commenced initiatives to support widespread adoption of electric vehicles with the establishment of three solar power charging stations in Lagos, Sokoto and Unsuka. Furthermore, when the draft automotive bill is passed into law, the full potential of the sector will be, real will be realized. Furthermore, he talked about successes recorded in the trade of agricultural produce as he described the efforts of Nigeria's federal government in boosting sugar production and other produce. With sugar, we have seen the creation of refining capacity in excess of local demand while we continue to increase the pace of growing sugar cane for processing. About 150,000 hectares have been, acquired, have been acquired and Mr. President provided a further boost for the backward integration program by establishing and funding a program to irrigate 10,000 hectares of sugarcane fields. We have recorded similar successes with tomato paste backward integration, where we have also created processing capacity in excess of demand, even as operators continue to build capacity in the agronomy segment of the value chain. The current administration of President Muhammadu Buhari will bow out on 29th May as he is not eligible for re-election and Nigerians have begun comparing the performance of the authorities and relevant ministries with the promises made before the inception of the government in 2015. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiodo Mohamed, Top Accolade News.